Welcome to Sundusk Sagas, a realm where mysteries whisper and magic unfolds. Today, we delve into the forbidden secrets of the Seven Princes of Hell, the fallen angels embodying the deadliest sins. Brace yourself as we reveal their tantalising descent into darkness. Join us on this captivating journey, and subscribe to Sundusk Sagas, to immerse yourself in the enigmatic realm where reality and mysticism intertwine. Long before the cosmos knew of mortal existence, there was a celestial being whose radiance rivalled that of the sun itself. Lucifer, the morning star, basked in the glory of heaven, entrusted with great power and wisdom. But within him lay a seed of discontent, a yearning for something more. Torn between his loyalty to the divine order and his desire for autonomy, Lucifer's heart began to stir in rebellion. With fiery conviction, he rallied a legion of angels to challenge the reign of heaven, seeking to carve his own path amidst the vast expanse of creation. Yet, even with his formidable might, Lucifer's rebellion was ultimately crushed. He and his followers were cast down from the heavens, their ethereal brilliance dimmed, and banished to the depths of darkness. But it was in this abyss that they found a new purpose, a throne of their own to rule. And thus, the seven princes of hell were born, forever embodying the embodiment of sin. Now let us unlock the gates of damnation, and explore the first prince, the tormented soul whose sin is as old as time itself. Follow the path as it winds through the shadows, where deceit and ambition intertwine. The tale of Satan awaits. In the depths of the infernal realm, where flames dance and shadows writhe, we encounter the first prince of hell, Satan. He who was once a cherished angel of unyielding pride, now embodies the sin that consumes him entirely. Pride, a treacherous mistress, whispers in Satan's ear, fueling his insatiable hunger for power and dominion. It was his unquenchable thirst for reverence, the desire to be worshipped as the supreme being, that led to his cataclysmic fall from grace. In his corrupted glory, Satan plots and schemes, his every move a testament to his unyielding ambition. With dark charisma and intoxicating charm, he lures souls with promises of grandeur and greatness, making them unwitting pawns in his eternal chessboard of manipulation. Beware, for the Prince of Pride revels in his mastery of manipulation and will stop at nothing to ascend the throne of damnation. Step into the treacherous realm of Satan, where power begets obsession and pride consumes all who dare cross his path. In the realm of shadows, where avarice festers and riches transform into curses, we encounter the second prince of hell, Mammon. Mammon, a name whispered by desperate souls, is the embodiment of insatiable greed and the unrelenting pursuit of wealth. With his golden touch and eyes hungry for treasures untold, Mammon tempts mortals with ephemeral fortunes. His influence seeps into the hearts of men, igniting a ceaseless craving for material possessions and status. Mammon is the patron of all who sacrifice their virtues at the altar of earthly desires. In the darkest corners of the human psyche, Mammon thrives, casting a spell that turns love into possession, generosity into hoarding, and generosity into exploitation. He teaches that wealth alone is the measure of worth, and that the pursuit of Mammon is a noble endeavour. Step into the glittering labyrinth of Mammon, where temptation knows no bounds, and the quest for wealth becomes a soul-devouring abyss. But remember, dear wanderer, that true riches lie not in gold and silver, but in the immaterial beauty of the human spirit. Beware the siren call of Mammon, for it entices with promises of abundance, while chaining the soul in eternal torment. In the realm where passion and seduction intertwine, the third prince of hell awaits. Asmodeus, the embodiment of insatiable lust, and the allure of forbidden desires. With a wicked grin and eyes that hold secrets untold, Asmodeus leads mortals astray, ensnaring them in the irresistible web of their own passions. As the prince of lust, Asmodeus thrives on the tantalising dance of attraction, pushing the boundaries of what is deemed acceptable. With every whispered temptation and stolen touch, he tempts humanity to indulge their most carnal cravings. His power lies in the forbidden, stoking the flames of desire until they consume all reason. Beware, for the grasp of Asmodeus is like quicksand, entrapping the unwary and leading them down a path of decadence and ruination. He preys upon the vulnerable, exploiting their deepest vulnerabilities to feed his insatiable hunger. In the seductive depths of Asmodeus's dominion, the line between pleasure and pain blurs, 
and the pursuit of desire becomes an intoxicating game. Venture into his realm if you dare, but beware the intoxicating allure of lust, for it has the power to unravel even the most steadfast souls. Deep within the infernal abyss, where indulgence and excess reign, we encounter the fourth prince of hell, Beelzebub, the embodiment of gluttony and the insatiable craving for excess. Beelzebub, with his bloated figure and insidious charm, invites mortals to surrender to their most primal desires and feast upon the forbidden fruits of indulgence. In the kingdom of Beelzebub, every appetite knows no boundaries, whether it be the voracious consumption of food, drink or power. He lures unsuspecting souls into a decadent sanctuary of gluttony, where the hunger for more is never satisfied, and restraint becomes a forgotten virtue. With an insidious grin and cruel laughter, Beelzebub whispers promises of satiation, tempting souls to abandon moderation in favour of momentary pleasure. In this realm of unending feast, desires are magnified, and self-control erodes with each succulent bite. But beware, for the prince of gluttony ensnares hearts and minds, chaining them to an insatiable hunger that can never be appeased. Enter the domain of Beelzebub, succumb to the allure of excess, and risk losing yourself in an eternal banquet of desires. Amidst the depths of the murky abyss, where jealousy festers and resentment takes root, we encounter the fifth prince of hell, Leviathan, the embodiment of envy and the unyielding longing for what others possess. Leviathan, with scales as dark as the depths from whence it emerged, is a tormented soul consumed by the poison of covetousness. Every breath draws envy deeper into the heart of Leviathan, fueling an insidious desire to possess what others hold. From the green-eyed glances to the whispered yearnings, Leviathan tempts mortals to resent the blessings bestowed upon their fellow beings and become ensnared in the tides of bitterness. In the realm of Leviathan, shadows whisper tales of discontent and twisted admiration. It is a domain where the beauty of one stings the hearts of many, and the achievements of others become a reminder of personal inadequacy. Within this swirling vortex of jealousy, reason becomes distorted, and the hunger to possess consumes all sense of empathy and compassion. Beware, dear wanderer, for the path of envy leads to a barren wasteland of bitterness and isolation. Venture into Leviathan's realm cautiously, for its seductive allure could ensnare even the noblest of hearts, leaving them forever haunted by the longing for what others possess. In the realm where time stands still, and ambition fades into obscurity, we come across the sixth prince of hell, Belphegor, the embodiment of sloth and the alluring temptation to idle away in laziness and apathy. Belphegor, draped in an ethereal lethargy, beckons mortals to surrender to the sweet embrace of inertness. Within the dominion of Belphegor, the relentless pursuit of purpose and productivity wanes into insignificance. He seduces weary souls, whispering lullabies of stagnation and contentment, urging them to forsake their ambitions and embrace a life of indolence and inaction. In this realm of perpetual twilight, the allure of Belphegor's sloth is strong. It is a realm where the clock's ticking melts into a gentle hum, and responsibilities dissipate like distant echoes. The relentless pursuit of progress gives way to apathy, as passions wither and dreams fade into forgotten realms. But be warned, for the Prince of Sloth is a cunning seducer, luring the unsuspecting into a slumber of wasted potential and unfulfilled purpose. Enter the realm of Belphegor with caution, as it is all too easy to succumb to the tempting siren song of laziness and indifference, forever trapped in the stagnant waters of idleness. Dwelling within the depths of fury and smouldering resentment, we arrive at the gates of the seventh prince of hell, Belial, the embodiment of wrath and the fiery rage within. Belial, Lucifer's trusted right hand, holds an inferno of fury that consumes the hearts and minds of mortals, leading them towards the abyss of eternal anguish. With eyes ablaze and a tempestuous aura, Belial channels the seething wrath that burns within, wielding it as a weapon to wreak havoc and sow discord. Belial stokes the flames of anger, encouraging mortals to unleash their darkest impulses, seeking vengeance and retribution against perceived wrongs. In the realm where fury reigns supreme, Belial feeds on the chaos of fractured relationships and shattered spirits. The wrathful fires set ablaze by this prince ignite eternal grudges and festering hatred, trapping mortals in an unending cycle of pain and suffering. Beware, 
for the path of Belial is strewn with the embers of burning fury. To step into the realm of wrath is to surrender to the destructive forces that dwell within. Tempting though it may seem, to embrace the fiery rage of Belial is to lose oneself in a perpetual inferno of torment and resentment. Take heed, dear wanderer, and approach Belial's dominion with caution, for the alluring flames of wrath can swiftly consume those who venture too close. Embrace forgiveness, let go of anger, and choose the path of peace. As we draw near the end of our journey through the realms of the seven princes of hell, a gentle reminder beckons, dear viewers. Should you choose to withhold your like and subscribe, let it be known that the wrath of these formidable beings may find its way into your life. Picture this, desserts whisked away before your eager lips, and mischievous socks disappearing into thin air. A curse most devilish indeed. So, without delay, hasten to like and subscribe to Sundusk Sagas for protection against these whimsical torments. Together, let us embark on an enchanting odyssey, embracing the magic and avoiding the perils that lie within the realms of mystery.